get by It resides between my eyes Walked through the fire Came out better on the other side See lights like a beach If you find the sand And right now I'm feeling like a hundred grand You are listening to Inspired Insider With your host, Dr. Jeremy Wise Live from the Sweet and Snack Show Dr. Jeremy Weiss here. We're here live at the Sweet and Snack Show, and I'm holding a uh, Bee Nutty. I just tried delicious flavor. This is the this is the gourmet peanut butter s'mores dreams. I'm here with Carol and Joy, and I want you to tell me about uh, a little bit about the company. Sure. So we're a gourmet peanut butter company. We started the business about five years ago. In fact, Joy's big idea was to start it once a year like Girl Scout cookies as a fundraiser for youth soccer. And we really thought that's all it was. And she's the genius behind the flavors and the packaging. We started selling it in farmer's markets. And as it picked up, we ended up getting picked up by QVC, which was exciting for us. We didn't dream it would turn into a business. Um, like I said, it's been five years. We just are getting ready to cut the ribbon on our new 17,000 square foot facility. And we're here at the Sweets and Snacks Expo trying to increase our exposure on store shelves. So what happened after QVC? How did you prefer, first, how do you prepare for QVC and then what happened after? Well, we did our research and we met up with our hostess and she learned all of the flavors and tasted them many times and we spoke with her about what we were trying to accomplish in the company. How are we trying to bring it to the table and to the forefront of America as a healthier option for peanut butter? And she embraced it and took it and ran with it. So what happened after? So after we ended up on QVC, surprisingly, store shelves wanted to pick us up. And so we were lucky enough to start working with a great distributor who's been extremely supportive of us. Um, we ended up on the shelves of stores even as big as Walmart, which was amazing to us. I mean, to start in Joy's Kitchen and move on to the Walmart shelves was a big jump. And so right now we sit on um, a little bit short of 3,000 shelves across the country. Oh, that's amazing. Mm -hmm. So what, tell me about the original idea. The original idea was you were going to release it once a year. <laughs> why? Why? Why were you going to do that once a year, and why the, what was the first flavor? The first flavors that we came out with were probably Irresistible Pretzel and The Plain, and then we jumped into a chocolate-covered blueberry, um, amazing blissful blueberry concoction, and it started out as a fundraiser. We have active children, and we were always fundraising for either the soccer program or the school. Kids cost a lot of money. <laughs> they do cost a lot of money. And travel sports are very expensive. Even if you look at it as they only have a ball and shin guards, it's a lot of work and a lot of money. So we started when my oldest, who's born in 98, um, was playing soccer. And so actually behind us, we have a couple of the kids from the 98 team. And they work for us. And they come back and they work for us in the summer and on the weekends and whenever we have an opportunity for them. So it actually started off as a fundraiser, and then from there, as Carol mentioned, it went frequently. Like every week, every month, people wanted to know, can we do another people fundraiser? More and more and more. Right. So it was really consumer demand, which is the best way to grow. So talk to me about the original product. Did you formulate in your kitchen, or what did, what did that look like? Yes. Um, it was just, we're traveling for soccer all the time, and we're stopping and eating at fast food restaurants and I personally don't yeah. believe yes I don't believe that's the healthiest option possible for kids and so I was trying to make an impact on kids and my husband and I are firm believers in education and in health I'm a former nurse and so it just came naturally that I needed to find something to substitute their snacks and peanut butter was a perfect option and it was just something we just stumbled on I mean really we had no prior history with food or with peanut butter and That's it just seemed like how can we how can we bribe them to eat something a little bit more healthy and make it appealing to them and how did you two meet we actually met through soccer. When Joy came up with the idea to start this as a fundraiser for youth soccer, I was the chair of the fundraising committee. So she was making peanut butter and I was teaching kids how to sell peanut butter. And so it's really funny, as the business has grown, we're still soccer players. We still employ soccer players, their moms, their families. We close early on Fridays because we head out to tournaments. It's been a lot of fun as we continue to grow the business and stay true to really who we are. Yeah. So where can people find it online? Where should they go? Online, you would want to go to our website, bnutty.com, www.bnutty.com. We're also on Amazon. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you, guys. This is fantastic. Everyone, go to bnutty.com. What I got, you can't buy. It resides between my eyes. Walked through the fire, came out better on the other side. See lights like a beach if you find the sand. And right now, I'm 
feel like a hundred grand 